Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the glory. Let God be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you join us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You know, child of God, the Judas have already missed it. Judas have already missed it. Judas have every chance and every opportunity to be the best he or she can be. When we speak about the word Judas, it does not have to be a man alone. Please understand this. But every Judas in our life or every Judas we have encountered, they have all the opportunity to be a better person. They have all the opportunity, you know, to have the benefit of knowing you. You know, knowing you, there is a benefit in it because you are a blessing. Knowing you, there is a benefit in it. There is a benefit in knowing you. When you come into the life of somebody or someone come into your life, there is always a benefit because you carry positive marks. You know, there are some persons when they walk into the life of somebody, all they leave is negative marks. You, when you remember all of that, you don't want to talk about it. You are like, no, 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 no. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. It's okay. Why? Because the person came with a very heavy negative marks. But your own is not a, is not like that. You carry like, you know, these positive marks into people's life when they walk into your life or when they walk out. You always make it to be known that you are someone who is very positive in life. You understand? But every Judas that come into your life, they see that positivity in you. Yeah, it's not that they don't know. They see their positivity because they know what is good. They know what is bad. So they see it. They see the positivity that you carry. But the truth is that Judas will always be Judah. You know, Judah will always be Judah. Even Judas that, that betrayed Jesus, uh, that Judah have every, every opportunity, you know, to be better. He has every opportunity to say, well, I don't want to betray Jesus anymore. If he wants the opportunity he has was when Jesus even told them and said, the one that wanted to betray me, he said, do it quickly, do it quickly, do it quickly. And he asked, he also asked, is it me, Judas? Is it me? Everybody was asking Jesus and he asked as well. And then when Jesus said, do it quickly, that which you want to do, you know, and that is the moment that he was supposed to realize that, ah, my secret has been exposed. Nothing is hidden from my master. Let me repent. No, he did not repent because he was, he, he had already made himself available to fulfill negative prophecy. May we not fulfill negative prophecy. Somebody will say, oh, Judas have already been, it has already been known that Jesus will be betrayed. Yes, the prophet have already prophesied it, that Jesus will be betrayed, but he did not say this is who. We betray Jesus. So it is who make himself available that fulfill that negative prophecy. You need to understand. So it is who make himself available for the devil to use. It is the one that the devil is we use. Hallelujah. Child of God, you deny the access to that Judah. Why? Because you realize that Judah cannot change. Judah cannot change. And Judah has every has every chance. He has every chance to repent. He has all of that. Hallelujah. They can't get to you anymore because even when Judas had betrayed Christ, after he betrayed Christ, he wanted to get to him again. But that access was denied. It is not everything that can, that can get to you. You need to understand. You might have forgiven or you have not forgiven. It is not everything that can still get to you. And this is one thing that you need to understand. That you deny their access and they start feeling upset. Why? Because they felt that, oh, uh, you should have opened the door for them to come in. 
The access to negativity is denied because wherever you go, you carry your positive mark with you. You are not going to allow anyone to ruin what you are carrying. Somebody, you carry good thing. And you need to understand that you, you leave good impression in the life of people. And the Lord is helping us to deny anything that will come and corrupt that which we are carrying. I pray for you, child of God. May the Lord continue to give you the grace to deny every access of wickedness in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.